Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share this video, especially if you love MMA as much as I do. Dana White has made it official. Max Holloway versus um, the Korean Zombie. Um, I kind of figured this fight was next. I mean, Max Holloway has fought uh, Volk. He's fought Rodriguez, right? He's fought uh, Ortega. He's fought pretty much everybody at the top of the division. I think the only fights left for him would be someone like Chan Sung Jung. Unless he moved up to lightweight again and or went down to bantamweight or something. Or maybe welcoming in, uh, what's their name? AJ McKee or Patricio Pitbull from Bellator for a super fight or something. That might be something for him. But other than that, I mean, he's... Did he fight Ortega? Yeah, he did. Because Ortega fought for the title twice. Anyways, this should be a pretty decent fight. Uh, Korean Zombie's a good fighter. Uh, he's very tough. He's durable. He can submit guys. He's got some good ground and pound. He's been in there with all the best fighters. Um... A very respectable guy in MMA. And then you got Holloway, who's a really good brawler. He hits hard. He's very tough. Uh, he's a finisher. He's TKO'd Aldo twice back in 2016. And um, this fight, I have to lean towards Holloway. I was wrong about Max Holloway in his last fight. I thought he was pretty much going to be unmotivated coming into the fight. I thought he felt like, well, I'm still a fighter. I should be fighting, you know. But he proved me wrong. He still got some good, mo uh, good hands. He's good at delivering damage. He's still very durable. Um, he's got plenty of fight left in him, obviously. You know, I was wrong for saying that. Um, I think Holloway wins. You know, I think uh, he's tough. His durability, his hands, his boxing abilities are really, really hard to deal with. Um, I just think he has more left in the tank than Korean Zombie, you know. I don't think Korean Zombie's going to... I think he's going to pick apart Zombie like Volk did. Now, granted, uh, Holloway gets hit a lot more than Volkanovski did and does. However, Holloway also hits hard if he tags you, especially if he can tag you over and over and over. And he doesn't necessarily... I wouldn't say he doesn't get tired, you know, but he seems to go pretty good when fights go to distance. Um... It's not like he has, he's lost to nobody. He's lost to Volk three times, but that's Alexander Volkanovsky. He lost to Poirier twice. He's lost to McGregor 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago. 2013, right? Wasn't it? Um, he's lost to some great guys. You know, uh, he's a former world champion. I think the fact that he's been world champion doesn't really make him a better fighter. I just think that'll benefit him more going into a, uh, if, this, if this fight were to go longer or go to distance. I don't think Holloway finishes this fight because Jung, Chan Sun Jung is very durable. And I do think Chan Sun Jung is going to swing back and land some good shots in this fight because Volk, um, unlike Volkanovski, Holloway gets hit a lot in his fights. And Volk is good at evading and still picking you apart. A lot like out of sign and given that they train together. But I think uh, Holloway outstrikes Korean Zombie. I don't think Korean Zombie will be, will be able to get this fight to the ground like he would like to and utilize his grappling or his ground and pound. Holloway is very, very tough. Again, outside the submission loss, he had to Poirier a long time ago. Poirier beat him. Volk beat him three times. McGregor beat him. But you know what they all couldn't do outside of that one submission loss? They could not finish him. So with that being said, Holloway still looked like he has a lot in the tank. Um, I think Holloway guts out a unanimous decision victory. I just think his boxing will be too much. Now, I do think he'll get lit up a few times in this fight. It will be a pretty good fight. But it's going to be pretty clear that Max Holloway has plenty left to offer this sport. And might, just might, have another run at the title. Now, I'm not saying at featherweight, but if he wants to bump up the heck, heck Yair might win the title somehow. Then Yair, my, Yair might want to get some redemption with Holloway. So, who knows? You know, so, this is a very important win for Holloway. I think Holloway wins that fight. He shouldn't have any issues.